Okay, we are back again doing a bit more molecular geometry. This time we're going to look at a shape for BF3, boron trifluoride. How are we going to work this out? Now, let's just go through it and then I'll explain an exception to our normal rules. So, step one as usual, let's calculate the valence electrons. We get the periodic table, write down the formula. Let's look at the corresponding groups. Boron is in group. 3, fluorine is in group 7, so the corresponding uh, valence electrons will be 3 and 7. Let's multiply the coefficients. The coefficients are these small numbers as we would call them. Okay, so 1 times 3 plus 7 times 3, 24. Okay, now lone pairs equals valence electrons minus 8 n divided by 2. We know this equation, so if we do the maths, we have 0 lone pairs. Now, if this was to follow the octet rule, we should have four bonding pairs, but we only have three. Now, here's where I introduce something new. Certain atoms are exceptions to the octet rule, so do not have to have an octet. They are stable with six electrons or three bonding pairs, and boron happens to be one of them. I will do a separate video on all the exceptions, but for now, we just need to remember that boron does not follow that rule, so it's an exception and we'll have three bonding pairs. So let's have a look at what the structure looks like. As you can see, there's the Lewis diagram, and there is a normal diagram of this. As you can see, there's a bond angle there of 120 degrees. There's a 3D structure, as we'd say. We said boron trifluoride. There's some more polyatomic ions, which, which also follow the same rule, but they are not necessarily um, exceptions. It's due to the electronic structure, but I'll look at that later. Okay, so how do we work out the shape? So we go on to our data table. We need to look for three bonding pairs. We, there we found three. There we found three. Do we have any lone pairs? No. So this option here, this option here seems like a valid option. So boron trifluoride will have a shape of trigonal or trigonal planar planar because it's a 2d it's a flat structure and a bond angle of 120 degrees right if you have any questions or any molecule or polyatomic ion that you'd like me to go through please leave that in the comments thank you